Hey everyone, okay, so should we talk cold sores? <laughs> I know. So every winter, me, like a lot of people, suffer from cold sores. Great. And of course, anyone who suffers from cold sores will know that it starts with that delightful tingle on the lips, and then it blisters. I mean, honestly, who doesn't love that tingle? No. Anywho, when I get them, and this is honest, I truly feel dreadful, and it honestly makes me feel that sometimes I just don't want to be seen or even leave the house, which of course I know is ridiculous, but I know I'm not alone in that. I know a lot of people feel that way. We just do. And somehow as well, it always feels like everyone is staring at it, which of course they're not, but it feels that way. Now, unfortunately, it is a virus, so it stays dormant in our body, meaning it can flare up at any time, especially when you're feeling under the weather or you're going through, I don't know, like a particularly stressful time or a state night, you get the gist. And of course, any kind of weakened immune system can also trigger cold sore, which is why in the winter we are likely to get them more often. And I even found out recently, which I didn't know at all, that you can actually get them from excessive sun exposure or extreme weather conditions. So it's freezing here recently, which means you can suffer from them more often. Now, when I do get a cold sore breakout, which thankfully I haven't for a while, touch wood, I always reach for Compi Complete Cold Sore Patches, which are completely discreet, which is also one of the reasons I love them. Now the Compi Discreet Cold Sore Patch hygienically seals any ruptured blisters and can help reduce the spread of the virus. And they are discreet, did I mention discreet? And an effective way to help heal cold sores and they instantly soothe itching and burning and it also prevents the scab formation for noticeably faster healing, hurrah. And they start to work from the very first sign and they continue throughout all stages. The discrete design not only helps to protect the cold sore, but it also helps to prevent any kind of social embarrassment. Now the patch creates a virus shield, which helps to reduce the risk of contamination. And one patch is designed to stay on for up to 12 hours, which is wonderful. So let me show you how to apply it. Also, in case you're, you notice that there could be some form of discrepancy with the background or myself, when I was filming this, my camera decided to shut down completely and it was just absolutely not working for over a week. So hence I'm filming this bit. So anyway, let me show you how to apply them. First, wash your hands and take care not to press down on the protective teal cover. Hold the product near the transparent part of the applicator and tear one product off. You will see the round cold sore patch on the upper part of the applicator. Apply it to the cold sore and press down firmly. Gently peel back the applicator, leaving the patch in place. Makeup can then be applied over. Okay, so let's talk about some of my favorite makeup tips to cover the patch and draw attention away from the mouth area. One good point, drink with a straw as you don't want to crack the area or contaminate glasses and cups. Use a highly pigmented cream concealer, less is more, and use a fluffy blending brush to stipple the product on. Avoid using lipstick and liner as this will infect the product and do not double dip your brushes into the concealer, etc. Be very careful with hygiene. Use separate makeup brushes and disinfect those brushes. Personally speaking, I just use a lip balm on the lip area and again, careful not to double dip. Draw attention up to the eyes using a flattering eyeliner. My personal favorite is to use a shadow and a push liner brush. I love, love, love using push liner. It is one of the most flattering ways. It doesn't take up any lid space. It makes your lashes look super dark and thick. It is my favorite way of doing eyeliner. I love it, love it, love it. Also, another one of my favorite ways to do eyeshadow is just to do a very simple eyeshadow look, something on the lid, perhaps a nice light color in the inner corner and just a wash of color over the rest of the lid, mascara, and you're done. Another bonus tip that I tend to do is I just dose up on vitamin C. And of course, I eat my fruit and vegetables, which I'm totally guilty of not eating enough of them. I mean, hands up who eats five portions of fruit and veg a day, please. And of course, you need to get enough sleep as it really does help the body to repair. And hygiene, hygiene is so important. And I cannot stress this enough. Please don't touch the area or share food or drink with other people. And of course, wash your hands often. I also tend to carry the Compi Discreet cold sore patches with me. So I have one in the house and one in the car at all times, just in case, so that I've always got them at hand whenever I feel that tingle. 
Now cold sores can be such a massive pain for me in winter and in fact I do dread them but with a tiny bit of TLC you can deal with them quickly and effectively, I promise. Now all the information you need on the Compi patches is in the description bar so do go ahead and check it out before you do anything. Thank you so much for your time, I truly truly appreciate it and I look forward to seeing you all soon, bye bye.